Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and we just looked at uh, Windows 11 display settings and uh, this is going to be the Windows 10 display settings. What are the options and you'll see there's quite a big difference between both operating systems and if you're interested in seeing how Windows 11 is structured in the settings look at both videos and you'll see how it's different. So in Windows 10 when you go to your settings tab then you go into system you will have the first option display so the difference with Windows 11 is that in Windows 11 all the options are on the left side already here you have to go into each option once you're here you have of course the night light um, option at the top which you can turn on or not and the night light settings just under that you can click to schedule um, a time for night light once again Night light is to remove the bluish or the blue color off of your screen uh, because it might actually interfere with sleep. So you can choose the sunset to sunrise or you can, of course, choose the hours as you wish. Uh, like I said before, I turn off this option because I do not um, feel the need to change anything. Windows HD color, which is uh, the HDR display. In uh, Windows 11, they directly go to HDR or iDynamic dynamic range. Um, in Windows 11, there is a better follow-up of the iDynamic dynamic range. They have improved those settings for graphics and for screens. So um, there is an advantage in Windows 11 to uh, have uh, Windows 11 for HDR or high dynamic range gaming and video playback. Um, you will, of course, have in here the Windows HD color settings. You can go in here to check the capabilities of HDR. This computer is not capable of creating any HDR, even though the screen that is actually connected to it is a high dynamic range screen. It's the capabilities of the graphics adapter that are not uh, able to do so. So here, that's what you get. And of course, you are, um, if you have these possibilities, there's more options that uh, can show up also um, in your Windows settings display. Scale and layout, once again, uh, same as Windows 11 that I showed, changes the size of everything. So if you take small, text will be small, taskbar will be smaller, everything you do. Or you can choose well, here, for example, recommended in this case, which is what is recommended for my screen. The display resolution that you can choose from. In my case, I could move up to 2560 by 2048, as this is supported on this machine uh, and on my screen. But I kept the resolution to HD for video uh, creation purposes. So uh, let me just put it back to 125, which I find is just perfect. Uh, you can connect to wireless displays. Okay, orientation of the screen, sorry. This is, of course, you can you know change what the screen will be like. Do you want it portrait or do you want to have it, um, you know, in a, uh, in a uh, different orientation? It actually messes up a lot the way that things look. Uh, depending, you know, on how your screen is set up, some people actually like to have the display in a different order, um, of course, and you have the option to uh, flip the screen and portray the landscape. Connect to a wireless display. If you have a wireless display that's available, it will show up here on the right side. Uh, my Samsung TV is here. What's interesting is media and generic plug and play monitor are not my devices. For some reason, it's actually able to find other devices that are possibly some neighbor's TVs, which is kind of interesting. You might uh, have a second screen if you do, and it doesn't detect. You can try to force detect the screens. It's going to give you um, the possibility to see if it sees another screen. Once again, um, I'll mention this. Sometimes on some graphics adapters, the screen is not detected. Uh, by Windows, if that happens, it often is because it will be detected by the graphics adapter app. A lot of graphics adapters have their own app and control the display, the outboard displays themselves. 
by bypassing windows. So that's where you need to head out and check what is the app that your computer is using instead of Windows. Advanced display settings here, where you will have, of course, all the information about the resolution, the screen resolution, refresh rate, and all of that of the screen that you have. If it's an HDR screen or not, in this case, it's a standard dynamic range. Refresh rate and refresh rate that can be changed if depending on the screen that you have. You also uh, have the options for uh, graphic settings. This is for apps, for computers that have more than one graphics adapter. You can choose which app will run on what graphics chip. And in some cases, this is important because it might actually speed up your computer. In this machine, there's only one um, adapter, and it's the Intel adapter, which is a rather crappy one. But um, if I would be on my laptop, my gaming laptop, I would have here to, to choose between high-performance um, graphics adapter or not. So depending on what type of computer you have, this might be important because it might give you the options to uh, see what app will run on what graphics processor, and this is where it, it happens. Unfortunately, in Windows 10, one of the things that was removed is the ability to right-click on an app and force it to use the high-performance adapter uh, in the, um, the menu, the context menu that would appear on an app. And I find it really sad that they removed that option in the context menu because I thought it was very, very useful rather than always going to play into the settings. So that was the quick look of the settings app. We'll look into more detail in Windows 10 at some of the settings a little later in some other videos. Hope that you enjoyed this look at Windows 11 and Windows 10 settings. Also, at the same time, you can compare both videos and see the difference between both operating systems. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.